first of all though focus that's where that's a and and then what comes before focus the thought okay. the thought is where are we going to go with our focus right. where am i going right. to where am i going to watch this weekend indoor rodeos right that you're going to tighter so just walk with me here and i, I want this for my students here or that's on uh, on social media to understand when i'm talking about our success this summer i said number one was focus mm -hmm. number two was angles mm -hmm. right so angles and approaching the first i see so many watch this this is my angle here it, it, this isn't slow here at the third mm -hmm. see how i'm here now knowing that corners shorten a horse and straight lines lengthen so i'm going to make a corner here in my run now I'm going to be riding forward over to this barrel here, right? To where I can get, if you come closer to this angle, maybe get on this back side because I've I had that angle before and I couldn't see it on video either. Okay. And then with what the next thing that happened with you was you kept, and a lot of girls do this, they're scared to knock this over, so they do all their work over here. Yeah. And when I got on this horse at Pinocchio with you and Billy, this horse wanted to be over there when I walked. Yeah. Right? And I said, let's put her right here for a while. And if she gets a little snug, then we'll move her out some. But for right now, she thinks that's good. And it isn't good. Number one, they don't clock. And number two is their feet aren't close enough together to be athletic to get around the barrel, right? But if we put her here and kind of guide her with some bend, now her feet can get up underneath her so she can get the traction to get around here. Right. You see them girls going out here, it's like, oh, I don't want to knock one down. Yeah, they run an 18-0, but and the half of it is they got to, you got to get on top of this thing and turn it, right? But then again, watch, you just stay there. Here's my angle. I'm going to show you. It's going to be a little hard to see from that angle, but here's the normal girl that I see. They're coming in here pretty tight to this barrel. So they're here, and then when they're going a million, then they can start panicking like you did at Delburn, right? Pulling on that inside rein, and all that happened was, oh, and it sends you over there to where they can't get athletic and make the turn. But if we, watch me move over, over here now. I come down the middle of the arena here and make a corner here, now I'm riding this away at this barrel, right? And I'm not worried anymore. I'm not, I've done that. I already done that on that corner there, was asked them to make that corner. So I thought that was success for you, I thought, was yeah. getting, getting you away from there, right? And then the easy thing, that was uh, uh, the kind of, again, I tried to keep you away from pulling on two reins, so we put a throttle in there, it was easy. Yeah. And we did that on our big circles, right? Yeah. Horse kind of gets tired, like I'm getting with my breath right now. Mm -hmm. You say, and you let them break, break gate, come to a trot, rub them, and then that was your success. So that's what I'm going to get you for this, get you ready for this weekend, and the indoor road is focus. And again, what comes after focus? Well, where do I go? So when you go look at your barrel pattern before you go to your road, you say, all right. I got to be looking over top of my horse's ears and I got to pick my spot, whether it be in Pinocchio's indoor or whether it's at these Westerner at the, at the FCA finals, right? And your job is to, like Bill Belichuk says, do your job. And your job is going to be to focus and get your horse to them spots, right? right? Yeah. And after that, you can't do nothing. So focus and get your, and get your horse to them spots, but knowing, get a game plan. Where do I got to go? So then I'll get you ready. My my job is to, all right, now that I've brought it up, we got to get her focusing. And then what goes with focus is is your, where your eyeballs are pointing, right. where your chin's pointing, and where your pelvis. So your focus is no good if this if you're coming into your first and you're going like, because look where, look where my chin went, look where my chest went, right? Mm -hmm. Look where my hips are. When they, girls talk about keeping them hindquarters underneath them, well, in order to do that, 
look what happens when I pick my focus up, my chin up, my chest up, my hips up. And now I want you to just give me that phone for a little bit. Look at Marianne's spurs here. Show me that row. That can be the difference maker right there. Because the next thing I want to want to bring up is how we teach horses to go. So this to me is for dressage. That's what lifts the rib cage up. When you want horses to go, I teach them right from day one, squeeze with all four cheeks, all the way down, through my butt, through my thighs, through my spurs, and as soon as they go forward, I'm gonna pop my feet off. In the colt start, and I rub them. They went that far. Squeeze with all four cheeks, whip myself, get it longer, and they go pop it off. So that's the watch my focus. I'm gonna I'm, I'm headed out with my colt. Squeeze with all four cheeks. Pop it off. Okay. That's gonna be our fo you, you can focus this weekend and keep your hips going forward. And with them rock, I guarantee you with them rock grinder rowels on. And again, Marianne doesn't ride with them all the time. We got a soft, medium, and hard of everything that we got. Bits and spurs. Right. We have to put sharp on for a little while to tell her to follow our focus. Because there does end up being some physical for a while until they can follow a feel. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's what we're after.